going on and welcome back to What Shall We Do Next. I'm Mike, your host, and I hope you guys are having the best day ever. Before I get started, guys, if you are new here, please subscribe if you haven't already done that. We're on the road to 71,000 subscribers and I would love you to join me on this journey. So hit subscribe right now, join the fam. And also, guys, go follow me on all my social media. Links are in the description. I have Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and even Snapchat, so go follow me on all of those. And once again, I am coming back at you guys with another creepy video. And today, we are talking about another scary story. And this scary story is called The Girl in the Photograph. So, the girl in the photograph is a creepy story about a boy who finds a photograph of a girl and becomes obsessed with her. So the story goes, one day, a boy was sitting in his classroom at school. He was extremely bored and waiting for the bell to ring. When he looked out the window, something caught his eye. There was a photograph laying on the grass outside. When school was finally over, he ran outside and picked up the photograph before anybody else got a chance to see it. Turning it over in his hands, he realized it was a picture of a very beautiful girl. The girl in the picture was wearing a white shirt, a short black skirt, black tights, and black shoes. And for some reason, she was holding up two fingers like they all do, I guess. Anyway, this girl was so pretty that he wanted to meet her. He went around the whole school and showed everybody in the school asking if they knew her, but unfortunately, nobody recognized her. That night, when the boy went home and went to bed, he put the picture of the girl on the bedside table and went to sleep. Around midnight, he woke up. Something was tapping on his window. He then heard what sounded like somebody giggling. More than a little frightened, he still worked up the courage to go and investigate what this was. So he jumped out of his bed, he ran over to the window, opened the window, and looked out. But there was nothing there. The next day, he took the photograph and showed all of his friends, all of his neighbors, and asked everybody, do you recognize this girl? And everybody he asked just said, I'm sorry, I've never seen this girl before in my life. Then, later that night, he was laying in bed, and he heard the tapping sound on the window again. So he got up, he went over to the window, and took a look. That was when he realized he could see a figure on the other side of the street. Now, he couldn't be sure, but it looked a lot like the mysterious girl from the photograph. Clutching the picture in his hand, he quickly threw on some clothes, raced downstairs, and ran out the front door. As he was running across this road to go and see this girl, he forgot to look both ways, and BAM! Suddenly, he was hit by a car. The driver got out of the car in a hurry and ran over to help the boy. But it was no use. The boy had been killed on impact. That was when the driver noticed something in his hand. It was a photograph. Turning it over in his hands, the driver realized it was a picture of a very beautiful girl. She was wearing a white shirt, a short black skirt, black tights, and black shoes. But for some reason, she was holding up three fingers. Holy moly, I just gave myself chills. That is an awesome story. It's like the picture is counting down how many people she kills. Wow. Now, I really enjoyed the story. I thought it was really, like, intense. The, the, the story, it, like, it has that twist at the end, which is, these are the kind of stories that I love to tell you guys. Like, I give myself chills, literally, from talking about the story and telling you guys the story. I give myself chills. I literally do. Like, I feel them going up my neck, and it's just like, ah! scary but my question to all of you guys for question of the day is do you believe i have done a couple of videos on pictures that change like this girl's picture she changes how many changes how many fingers she's holding up for the more people she kills or has died because of her like she had two fingers in the at the beginning of the story and then she had three at the end because she killed the boy now i did another video about the girl who was killed um, I think she was sick or something and the mom went to see a psychic and the, the the girl's face like changed and went really nasty My question to all of you guys for question of the day is do you believe that even if a picture is haunted? Do you believe that it can change 
Like, is that possible that something that has been printed with ink can change? Let me know what you guys think. That is question of the day. But thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, hit that like button down below. Let's see if we can go for 7 million likes on this video. I would really appreciate that. And remember the most important thing of all guys, chase your dreams. I love you all.